<laughs> Even though it might not feel like it this week, cold weather is looming right around the corner. So I wondered, how much heat do I pay for and literally send right out the window? Well, the folks at ABMA had an answer for me with their energy evaluation analysis. Well, if you can observe that blue section, that's where there's a void and in insulation and possible energy loss. Dan Stack's job at AB May is to find out where precious heat is escaping from your house. And he had his work cut out for him at Casa Mackey. There's a huge leak in that window. With his handy dandy heat tracking device, Dan can quickly deduce where cold air is seeping in. Seems simple weather stripping is going to help keep me much warmer this winter. And what house couldn't use more insulation? The windows in my house were problematic too, so I called in the big guns. Rick Ford owns the blind broker and suggests modern window treatments to keep out the cold. These aren't your grandmother's old vertical blinds, mind you. These are state-of-the-art, energy-saving drapes and blinds. When you put one of these on your window, it's like putting a quilt over your window. It basically eliminates the draft that's going to come through in the wintertime. Who knew there were so many cold busting curtains out there? Another suggestion for keeping your house climate controlled is window tinting. Chi Wen is a specialist at Mid America Tint, and his product promises a dramatic decrease in the amount of light coming into your house. The beauty of this product is we're filtering out lights that you can't see that, that causes heat buildup and still let in plenty of natural light. Without film, the meter is reading roughly about 500 to 550. With film, it goes down below 100. But the windows weren't the only problem inside my house. So was that pesky front door. The door to your house is notorious for letting cold weather in. And don't even get Dan started on the can lights throughout my house. Can lights generally are a, a big hole in your attic. And speaking of my attic, a quick trip upstairs found surprisingly good insulation for a house that's more than 25 years old. A quick check of the fireplace found a lot of heat escaping from the house, too. But how was the house overall? Things weren't as bad as what we thought they might be. You know, you're living in a 30-year-old house, and we found pretty good in insulation in the attic. If you're looking to save some this winter, getting an energy evaluation analysis might give you some insight on how to avoid a whopper of an electric bill come January. What kind of grade did AB May give my house? It's probably a, a C plus. Could be a lot worse and definitely could be a lot better. Interesting, huh? So I'll take a C plus, but a few simple things. We'll get that up to a B plus or even an A minus. So it looks like I have some work to do. I love the tinting because not only does it uh, help with your energy bills, but it also protects your flooring mm -hmm. from fading when the sunlight shines in and your furniture. So that tinting is really going to help. And honestly, I could and not shutters. I could not even tell when she put that up. I could not even tell the difference before and after. Like the tinting was that like nondescript. From one window to the other, I couldn't mm. tell that they were sinting on it. So it was awesome. So what do you what do you need to do now, other than a lot of window stripping? I, I need to put a lot of insulation between in the cracks and some of the cracks in the windows. So apparently, and more insulation because you can never have enough insulation. Insulate, apparently. insulate, insulate, insulate. Yes.